good? This is Joseph Three Banks, aka J3B, and I'm coming to you with another run of comics, son. <laughs> um, this is a comic haul I did a while ago, and I just didn't get a chance to record it, and I thought I would bring it up now. So, trying a different location, um, different lighting, which is natural lighting anyway, and just uh, want to show you some comics which I picked up which are not only um, newer comics, but also older comics. Usually when I do runs, I go for the dollar bins, the unbagged comics, two or three, four dollar bins, discount comics. And those hold great value also, especially if you're looking. And in another video, I will talk about what to look for in a comic, especially if you're looking to collect and want to collect some good comics and good, good quality. What to look for in a comic. But for this one, we'll just go over what I picked up in the haul and to just show you. First, we're going to go to Squadron Supreme number six. Um, it's from 2016, it's last year. And I actually like this run, it's very cool. Um, I actually had to pick up number five. I got number six, but I do not have number five. So I need to look for that. I want to see if I can get this, this run, which, uh, Really dope. So that's Squad Supreme. Next up is the last in the series for the Eternals, number seven, illustrated by John Romita Jr., um, written by Neil Gaiman. And I have, it's kind of scattered, I have like one, five, and seven. One, five, and seven, or one, three, five, and seven. So I need to get the rest of those. But this is a very beautifully drawn book. Look at the colors on there. Like it's a Green Lantern. <laughs> but uh, it's really, really, really dope. I really want to get into one. I want to wait till I get all of the issues so I can really get into this book. It's number seven of, uh, and that's the variant. Tell me the junior does all the, a lot of variants. Um, next comic, this one is kind of popular from Image. Motor Crush, number one. Mainly got this one for the potential that this comic will have in the future for investment purposes. Um, will not open it. I boarded it. It was bad, but I put the board on it. Um, will not open it. Um, the I looked at the premise of it, and not really my type of comic. Um, so, like I said, I just got this mainly for the possible investment opportunities, or actually maybe the resale. We'll see how that goes. This comic, Rivers of London, number one. The black mold or mold, the black mold version. It's like an ongoing comic. I just found out about this a few days ago. And uh, it's just a beautiful, um, Anna Dittman does the cover for this one. And there's another one that she does that's beautiful. I think it's number, number three that she does the cover, C4. But I got this one, I just happened to find this. It was, I think it was the only one they had, but it's a beautiful cover um, about crime um, investigators or detectives who, who are um, in London and looking for magic, you know, the, the, the magical aspects of detecting. So it's, it's, it's going to be an interesting read. I haven't I read a little bit, but I haven't read all of it. Next comes Black Panther number 11. This is, I guess, the end of this arc. It went from, it's from issue one to number 11. This is finally the end of this particular run, the series. I think the next, next issue is gonna be like what happens after the end of this. But this has been a very interesting, um, probably have to read it again because it goes deep into Wakandan uh, legacy and history. It even has a map at the end of the book. I would take it out and show you, but maybe I'll do it for another one. It has a map of Wakanda and it's just very in-depth. Um, Steel Freeze, the, the cover. Um, Tahishi Coates, writer, and the illustrator is Bruce. Does a pretty good job. Do a really good job. Really good job. But it's Black Panther number eleven, and uh, this is one. Check this out. Didn't even know about this. Didn't even know it went up to this number. But check that out. Black Panther, the most dangerous man alive. Number 523.1, and I did some research and actually found out that Black Panther took up Daredevil's role 
while Daredevil was going through some issues. I think it was a Shadowland, it was a Shadowland um, arc. And because of what happened at the end of Shadowland, Daredevil left um, Hell's Kitchen a sabbatical to refocus himself and the morals. And Black Panther took up his role. And because of that, you know, it's a Black Panther title. It actually still has the Daredevil numbers. So this is 23.1 before it goes into this The Dangerous Man Alive arc. There's one that went before this. I think it went from 513 to 22 which dealt with, um, I forgot what it was called. It had, it had another subtitle, but this, it, this cover just, that's just beautiful. That's gonna be flames right there. Um, and it's basically Black Panther without um, his um, um, vibranium armor, his technology. It's just Black Panther in the flesh, just booted and suited, ready to work. So that was that pickup. And what am I reading now? Well, I'm not, I'm kind of looking through it, but this book I have right here, Brightest Day, Volume 1, there's three volumes, um, which is the aftermath of the Blackest Night in, in, in Green Lantern. And what I'm was looking through is, in the back, of course, gives all the illustrations. But there's this scene right here. You can get that. It's all in there. Those are all of the characters who came back to life. Um, during the brightest night, and each one of these, which are was ten, represent ten covers that were done, ten variants. I am looking to get all of those variants from all those um, um, comics, which were drawn by Ryan Sook, ill artist. So he's like some of them. My son over here playing games while I'm over trying to record. Justice. No baby, stop. Dad trying to record. The life of a podcaster. <laughs> like this one from Aquaman is on in brightest day number seven. Ryan Sook just still artist. This was from Bird of Prey number four, variant cover. Which I found out is a some of these are easier to get than others. Some of them are very difficult. The uh, the hawk tough to get. And also, I believe on um, some others that are kind of hard to get. Jade, I think I can't. It's just kind of difficult to get. Jade and Dead Man, I think they're kind of difficult. Others, I think, are a little bit easier. But you know, you gotta scour around. But that was that's my video for today. That's my um rant. Not my rant. It's my little run through. Ooh. Old Man Logan, his past lives, what, For issues 21 to 24, hmm, interesting, <laughs> but um, you know, hey, comment, what are some of the comments that you're reading, what are some that you hauled in, what are some that you're collecting, comment, like, um, share, and definitely subscribe, have more to talk about when it comes to comics, and also some other subjects from, from my art life. But this has been Joseph Three Banks, and I'm out. Grace and peace. Yeah,